Hello, hello everyone. It is Jackie with Pocket of Preschool and I'm coming to you tonight to show you the brand new Butter, all about butterfly science unit that is part of the Little Learners science curriculum. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you all of the goodness that is included and then the end, um, I'll do a quick Q&A if you guys have any questions um, about the unit. And you guys, this one turned out so, so awesome. I just, I do love science. It's really, really fun. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna flip it around and show you guys all of the stuff. All right. So this is one of the science table setups. And I know, okay, so we're just gonna pretend my little cup has caterpillars in it. <laughs> Um, I just kind of, um, I don't have any yet because I'm not doing this with my class yet. Um, but we're just going to pretend my little cup has caterpillars in them. And we all know that the first thing that they talk about is how a butterfly changes. That's what they're interested in first, right? So the first science table setup I would do is the life cycle of a butterfly. That's the first um, table setup you could do. So what I did is I have an interactive life cycle chart that you can put out. I have these fabulous life cycle um, big, bigger posters. I have a recording page you can put out for the kiddos to do. You can also put out some little, since they can't touch the caterpillars, um, some little um, like plastic butterflies or caterpillars that you have so they can touch those because we all know if those were real caterpillars we wouldn't want them touching them we would just want them observing but that way they have something they can actually touch um, and then I have a science prompt out there is a read aloud with this one as well and then I did include um, these two fabulous photos of a caterpillar changing into a chrysalis and then the butterfly emerging from the chrysalis so they can kind of see the stages of those particular parts. And then I have the big, beautiful parts of butterfly vocabulary cards and the life cycle cards, um, vocabulary cards that are included. And then I also included a chart so you guys can chart how many days um, your caterpillar is in, or your butterfly is in each life cycle piece. So how many days it's a caterpillar, how many days it's a chrysalis, and then how many days it's a butterfly until you let it go. Because we all know that they are like, oh my gosh, they're here, and they want them to change. And it takes about three weeks usually um, for your caterpillar to change all the way into a butterfly. It just kind of depends on how quick you get them after they um, hatch from their eggs. Um, but yeah, so that way they, you can chart it and you, so you can kind of guide your table accordingly. Um, and I did include um, in the packet, it tells, I did include um, um, kind of like how long it, sh it should be in each stage. And then once they get, um, once you do the life cycle, I include these big um, butterfly photos. So you can do this either when it's in a, when the caterpillar stage or when it's in that chrysalis stage when it's kind of not doing anything. There's nothing really to observe but the um, chrysalis shaking if you're lucky enough for yours to shake while you're at school um, and change. But these are just big, um, so there's eight included, eight different butterflies. And there's a small, medium, and large. So they're doing, it's a visual discrimination um, activity. So basically they have to match the butterfly. And I have some that are same, kind of similar. So there's two blue ones, there's three um, butterflies, or four, sorry. There's four that have the browns and oranges, and then there's two that have yellows in them. The other two are actually over there on this chart I have. <laughs> um, but they can also measure how big the butterflies are, and they can look and compare the wings. Um, so yeah, so that's a really another fun thing to put out. Um, a fun science activity. They're not actually touching real butterflies because that's obviously they can't do that, but they can examine the, um, all the different parts of a butterfly and the wings and the, their characteristics um, that way. Another activity you could do with these cards are is a sorting activity. And the big sorting chart I usually do um, at circle time, but if you wanted to put um, a sorting board at the science table with these cards, you could do that. So I have small, large, so you could do size, so small and large or small, medium, large. And then I have colors. And then for butterfly um, manipulatives that they can touch, so these are just counters, like some math insect counters that um, I found these in. 
And then these are actually those like cloth, or not cloth, um, these are like in like the craft section at the dollar store. So you could get these as well for them to examine, or these like little plastic ones that we all have like for the block center. These are like probably like, you know, at the, the plastic animal section at Michael's or something like that. Um, I don't actually know where I got them. I just have them in my, my animal collection. Um, so yeah, so that way they can touch and sort butterflies either by, it just kind of depends on what manipulatives you have, or you can use the included cards. Um, so you can sort by size or color, and you can do it again with the small charts at the science table, or you can do it as a follow-up activity after like circle. Um, you can do the small, medium, and large. And then another activity, since they're in a chrysalis and they're a caterpillar for a while, I thought, how much fun would it be to um, have them build their own butterfly with pattern blocks? And so here's what the board looks like. So they have their four wings, one, two, three, four. And so they would have to make them match using the pattern blocks. And I included um, printable pattern blocks so you can make them the colors that you're painted, lady. Because I always order the ones from Insect Lore and they're... Um, these colors, so the um, painted lady butterflies. So um, I this what I printed them off these colors, um, but that way they can make them symmetrical. And you can talk about, and you can even have these um, cards out too, and talk about how the butterfly's wings are the same on each side. And I even have a little fun fact um, page, so you can talk about how you know there's dots on this side, and then there's dots on this side. So it has the same patterns on both sides, and talk about symmetry and sneak in a fun little STEM challenge while your butterfly is in a chrysalis. Um, in that chrysalis stage, that's kind of boring for the kiddos, right? And then once it finally changes into a butterfly, so I actually don't have a butterfly in here, um, obviously since it's open. Um, I just have the kit <laughs> still. But um, try putting fresh fruit in there or like a real little flower or plant. Um, that way you, they can see the butterfly um, eating and drinking the nectar or the sugar water, whatever you decide. But yeah, I just usually go to like the grocery store and I buy one of those like $3 flower plants, like a mum or something, and stick it in there. And then you can, there's also, once it's they've changed into the butterfly, then you can talk about the parts of the butterfly. And there's a one-page poster, a anchor chart, and then there are two recording pages. And I did two since um, you might have different levels of kids. So this one just has the body, and then that one has the abdomen and the thorax. So different label it pages for your kiddos. And then there are journals, as always, just like in all of my science packs science units there's journals and then there's a parent note so they can keep that learning going on at home this is the read aloud that's printed smaller so if you have a smaller science section oh i don't have this one in order huh yeah so here's the read aloud so that's really fun and then i also have a book list if you want more amazing books that um here's some that i know and i i have actually purchased and i know they work good for kiddos um, for pre-K, preschool, and kinder. And like I said, I usually typically buy, this is actually the kit I have. Um, this is the um, insect lure. So this one is the giant butterfly garden. So this one is the extra tall one. But you can get a smaller one too. It's totally up to you. So this is all the goodness in the butterfly unit. So you could set it up to do the build a butterfly pattern. You could do the visual discrimination activity. You could do the butterfly sorting. You could do parts of a butterfly at the science table, or let me show this in just in case you're tuning in late. You could do the um, life cycle of a butterfly at your science table. So yeah, if you wanna grab this new butterfly unit, go ahead and go to the top of this post and you can grab it off TPT. If you wanna grab the whole science curriculum, the link is up there for you as well. So I hope you guys have an amazing evening. If you have any questions, um, you can ask them in the Pocket of Preschool Facebook group and I will be happy to answer them over there. Or you can always ask um, on TPT in the Q&A section. All right guys, you guys have a fabulous night and I will talk to you soon.